And welcome back to Louisiana Living. Our, our original plan was to have Carrie Hefner live today at the Gardens of Somerset where the speaker was P. Allen Smith, but because of the weather, it was canceled. But uh, mm -hmm. Carrie's here to tell us more about that and uh, when the new date is. Well, we don't know a new date yet, but Alan was going to do um, an invitation only workshop on mm -hmm. hydrangeas. And so uh, if you missed Alan uh, today, and we all did, don't worry cause, uh, because Alan is going to come back to the Master Gardener plant sale, which is coming up on Saturday, March 2nd. Alan will be speaking at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. This is all going to be at the West Monroe Convention Center on Ridge Avenue. Now, we normally have the spring plant sale over at the Farmer's Market, mm -hmm. but because Alan is coming down um, uh, to do two programs, we just decided to move back over to the convention center where we do the January seminar. So the plant sale will be inside and Alan will be speaking inside. A $5 admission fee will uh, get you into either one or both of Alan's presentations. He's going to speak on his 12 principles of gardening design as well as uh, plants he cannot live without. Oh, and good. so uh -huh. we're going to have some of those plants for sale mm -hmm. as well as a good selection of the Louisiana super plants. And Alan, like I said, was going to talk about hydrangeas today, so we can uh, say a little bit about hydrangeas. They're mm -hmm. very popular plants for southern mm -hmm. landscapes, mm -hmm. and so if you're at, when all this weather clears out of here, if you want to install some uh, hydrangeas into your landscape, go to the local garden centers and look for either the traditional southern mop head hydrangeas, those are the macrophyllas. Penny Mac is the Louisiana super plant selection for the mop heads. There's also the paniculatas, and last summer I I think I saw more limelight hydrangeas being planted uh, in southern landscapes or local landscapes than ever before. They are really popular because they will tolerate full sun. Mm -hmm. And then there's a shorter version of the paniculatus called little lime, so you can underplant something taller with those little limes and get the same effect. And then the Annabelles or the so-called lace caps are based on uh, the species hydrangea arborescens. Not necessarily uh, a good selection for the deep south, but if you do run up on those, make sure they go into a very shady spot in your landscape. They are mm -hmm. very common up in the southern Appalachians on uh, shaded slopes. Um, and then if you want to go for a more native approach with hydrangeas, the oak leaf hydrangea, hydrangea quercifolia, a great option. Interesting leaf uh, shape and texture as well as wonderful white creamy blooms. Uh, so a lot of options for hydrangeas. So I hate we missed the I workshop know. today. It was going to be great, but we will postpone it. And, um, and Ashley Kirk will we'll get that set up again. But don't fret if you miss uh, P. Allen Smith, he'll be in West Monroe on Saturday, April 2nd at the West Monroe Convention Center. So. Are there any tips to keep your hydrangeas the vibrant color? Like some of them are the beautiful blue, blues and the pinks. And the blues and pinks, and those are in the mop heads, and mm -hmm. that has to do with soil pH. If you want to have blue blooms, you can acidify the soil with aluminum sulfate or sulfur. If you want to to turn uh, the pH around and go in the other direction for pink blooms, add lime. So lime will raise the pH and you'll have pink blooms. Okay, anything else, Carrie? We've got about 30 seconds. Okay, uh, Saturday, March 26th, I'll be at Delhi Feed and Supply, 9 a.m. We'll be talking about raised bed gardening. So. Okay. All right. All right. And how can someone get more information on the bulb sale and PL and Smith's? Oh, uh, for, for the spring plant sale, just find our Facebook page, Northeast Louisiana Master Gardeners. All right. Thank you so mm -hmm. much, Carrie. And coming up next,